Shot through the heart, and you're to blame, darling. You give love a bad name. <laughs> What's up, YouTubers? Check it out. I did a video on these beauties about a year ago. Time to update. I have some questions. Listen, can't really find too many of these, but I'm hoping that any hen and rooster fan out there that can identify with any of these blades can give me a little more info, okay? Example, how old do you think some of them are? Are they two years, 10 years? I don't know. Let me just show you what I'm talking about, okay? First, There's a couple I didn't bring out because they're more modern. I'm just showing you. Uh, yeah, anyway, you'll see. All right. One of the first ones I want to show you is called the Hen and Rooster HR5014. Made in Spain. It's got that German stainless. This is a fantastic knife. Now, I've had people come over to my house and check out my entire collection. Something about this one. I have a good friend who's an, like an avid hunter, and he was like, wow, dude, I really like that. The HR5014. First of all, they all come with amazing sheaths, okay? Leather, summer custom, you'll, you'll see. Anyway, check out this little guy, all right? Oh, and another, another note, they're all... Stag handles. Okay. So check out. It's like a feather blade. You know? This thing is awesome for cutting like rough steak. Because that's what I use it for. <laughs> I love this blade. All right. This isn't too old. Um, I'd say I've had it for about a year. Maybe a little longer. But that's it. All right. And there might be one or two available for sale. I'm not sure. But if you see it, guys, grab it. All right? You won't regret it. My second is this bad boy here. The Hen and Rooster 0007. Again, made in Spain. It's got that German stainless. All right? Look at this. Look at how nice that is cut. I hope you guys can really see. Look at that finger troll right there. See now, I was sold on this because of because of just that, you know, that. <laughs> it it reminded me of my sog knives, all right? The way that is cut. I love the design, all right? This thing is wicked fierce. High quality. I was, just, I was just looking at that tang right quick. I compared this to my eye field knife. I forget the model number in, on that eye field. Um, the eye field is almost similar. Made in Spain. It's got almost the same exact sheath. But um, this thing, I'd take any, any, any time over the eye field. Although the eye field is an amazing blade too. So what's that tell you? All right. So, that is the HR0007. Okay. Another amazing blade. And I'm not just saying that. I'm not. Here is a rare item. The HR3158. No snap or anything on the sheath. This is um, a small beast. The HR3158. Look at that, look at that blade. All right. This thing is, how you say, badass. All right, awesome. Um, by the way, I just had to break these out because I thought it was time for, you know, an update. 
on my uh, Hen and Rooster collection. So, the HR3158. I don't know if this is available anymore. I'd like to know how old it is. When did they first, you know, come out with this? Look at how gorgeous this little guy is. And it's, and it's thick. It's heavy. All right? I just... I love it. <laughs> Where are we at? Where are we at? Uh, let me see. Mm, they're just so nice. I'd say this one is probably next. Okay. The HR Diamond Edition HRDS S107 DS2. Again, German stainless. First, look what they did with this sheath. All right. I didn't add any of this on there. That is the way it came. All right. It's just a nice custom sheath. Um, I'm very happy with it. It's kind of neat. So then you got this gorgeous, gorgeous stag handled Bowie knife. Again, it's, it's, it's got some great weight to it. It's got your little lashing points here, you know, on the guard. It's got such high quality stag handle. I mean, this one here reminds me of like, you know, uh, I guess sort of like uh, Jim Bowie meets, you know, the Rio Grande, in my opinion. Because um, that, that clip point is just so, you know, Alamo. <laughs> and then this reminds you of, like, say, the Rio Grande. Anyway, a huge fan of this blade. Gorgeous. German stainless made in Spain. We're talking high quality knives here, everybody. These are so close to my heart. Just beautiful. I'm so glad I have such a, you know, they're like family, these guys. And then we have this beast, the HR0008. Okay. Again, you got your, you know, your leg tie. That's all leather, by the way. You got this custom sheath right here. It's got like that ray skin or something, you know, on the sheath. And uh, look at that. Just compare that to the beast I just showed you, okay? Side by side. This was the, the diamond edition. Look at this. Oh, I wish I could just pass this to you. Can you feel the weight of this thing? You just don't want to let it go. You don't want to ever let it go. I love it. I love it. Look at that. So hard to find a knife as beautiful as this. This is another special edition, I believe. All right. It's got some, so you can't read that. It's got a signature on there. The HR008. <clears throat> I wish I knew whose signature that was. I guess I could look it up, but that's no fun. I like talking to everybody out there. This, yeah, this might just be my favorite out of all of them. The HR0008. I mean, that is... Just might be, guys. But then I got this one. The HR5033 GDS. And here we go. Look at this bugger. This one gets some use. Anybody out there have a green stag handle Bowie knife? Again, made in Spain. It's got that German stainless. I don't want to be in the web. I'm trying to, I don't know if I should be in the foreground or what. You got the lashing points on the, on the guard again. 
Look at that green stack. <laughs> I don't have, I have, oh my God, hundreds of stag handle knives, but not this type, not hundreds, about a hundred. Just gorgeous. And uh, I mean, compared to, you know, the Diamond Edition, I like to use that for comparison because of its size. Look at the 5033. I mean, this is a beast, this guy here. But look at this 5033. Let me see. Let me compare it to this guy here. Again, I'm asking for, like, does anybody know the age of when they had, you know, manufactured these? There's got to be somebody out there who knows. I can't think of anybody. Again, this one reminds you of, like, the old, you know, Rio Grande, you know, with a, with a clip point. I love that style. I love that style. Anyway. So, I just wanted to break these guys out in this uh, time of crisis. <laughs> this one does get used often. Not as much as I would like, but it does see some use. Um, all of them do really, uh, except two. I try to keep them in mint condition, to be honest. But I'd say, I don't know. Three or four do get do get do get the use. So um, this is my happy little hen and rooster collection. Again, there's a couple I didn't break out because they're more of the more modern ones. Nothing wrong with them; they're awesome knives. But you can see why these are near and dear to my heart. All right, and uh, let's end this video with. A song. You, you guys heard how I started the video? Well, here's how I'm going to end it. Because every time I hear this song, I think of these guys. Okay? And you'll see why. Ready? You ready? All right, here we go. Stab through the heart! And who's to blame, darling? Hen and Rooster's a great name. But boom, bam, down, oh, where down, down, bam, down, bound, do, 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 where is my guitar when I need it? <laughs> Stay safe, everybody, and I'll see you soon.